Okay, folks. I'm going to show you today a triple hack or three hacks that help me in my business. So here you have my Cricut. Now when I'm using, like yesterday I had to do a bunch of numbers and it required the use of a long mat, a 24 inch mat. So I don't have a 24 inch mat right now. So here's what I did. Hack number one. Now I'm going to leave this on here because I'm, for right now I don't want to get my... Well, no, we'll take it off. Um, whoops. So hack number one is taking two and putting them together. And the lady that I showed, she... You set this one right at the 11. So you overlap it right at the 11 mark. This allows you to have a 24 inch out of two mats. So you don't have to buy a 24 inch. Now I'm eventually going to buy a 24 inch because I need it once in a while. So that was hack number one. And then I just use painter's tape. Tape it the whole length here. And then I flip it over and tape it along the other side. This way nothing gets caught. So that's hack one. And I'm actually going to demonstrate this actually. So let's go ahead and, and put them put these together. So I will do a demo for you to show you how cool these hacks are. So let's first tape this off. And we'll cut this. So then I flip it over and fold that. This way it's nice and tight. And then I do the same thing on the other side because you don't want this getting caught. You don't want this getting stuck on anything where it's overlapping. So let's just do it right to the edge but not actually over like on the front. And then we'll cut it at the end. So now we have our 24 inch mat, <clears throat> like so. Okay, now the second hack, which is really freaking awesome, and I've only seen one video on all of YouTube that shows you how to do this. And I have all the links below the video on this. It's two pieces. So the first piece has an opening here for the second piece to fit in. Okay? So when you're doing one 12 by, you only need the one. Now, usually what I do is I move my machine up towards the end of the table. So that allows me room in the back for the uh, allows me room in the back for the mat to come out. So hopefully you can, yeah, you can see that. Okay, now what happens is when you have a long mat, you need some extra support. So you put that in, 
That slides under. And now you've got support for the long mat. This way it doesn't flop down. Let's see if I can move this a little closer for you. It doesn't flop down onto the floor. Now, what I was doing when I had to use longer mats, because I didn't have this thing here, the third hack has to do with your thing coming out the back. Because now pretend this is coming, I'm feeding this through. Now, what I had to do before was actually move my machine this way. And then I had to move it all the way up to like about the middle of the table to allow for the 24 inch mat to come out the back. So when it feeds, it comes out the back. Like that. Well, then I've got it coming out the front and coming out the back, and I, can't, I have no more warp room. So what this hack did, and I saw this on a video short, which I'll also link below, when I have this set up so that it's got its support from the front, so it has its support in the front, but then when it would feed, we're just going to pretend it's on here, when it would feed out the back of the machine, I'd run out of room. So it hit the wall, which is why I turned it over, right, turned it around and had it free. Well, this lady, she kind of found it out by accident, but it worked so well that she did a little video on it. And what she did, she's got a piece of poster board. I don't have poster board right now, which I'm going to get some. So what she did, or what I did, is I took my mat and I covered it with shelf liner. And then I set that in back of my machine. So then what happens is as the, as the mats come out the back, which is pretend it's coming through the machine, it just slides right up. Even if your mat moves, it doesn't matter. It just slides right up so that when it gets to the bottom, I mean, it gets to the bottom of where you're doing, what you're cutting out, it's just slides. So now I don't have to move my machine. So those are the, the three hacks I wanted to show you. And it just works out really cool. Now I'm going to see if I can get this stuff off of here. Anyway, I will have links at the bottom of the video shouting out the, the people I learned these hacks from. And now I'm going to put everything back the way it's supposed to be. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.